Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we're talking about casting plugs from short. Actually, it's not just plugs, but also jigs. Uh, but that's so much. Let's say it's uh, an all-around bait caster I use when I want to toss plugs. So, stick baits, small stick baits, poppers, jerk baits, uh, stuff like the sour and heavy minnow. Uh, the uh, soda and heavy minnow, the smaller one, okay, even the 40 gram one, you know, um, I've used it on this and uh, quite happy with it. Now, uh, I've used a lot of, and one, and one thing that I really like about this particular rod and reel combo is that it is a specialized sea bass rod. And really, it's designed for plugs, but it is light enough to actually toss 10 gram jigs, which I have done with this uh, on fish, even even on fish that's hard to hook, like flounder, and have caught a lot of flounder with it. So um, that's that. All right. So I'm gonna show you this bait caster, but or this bait casting setup, which is probably something that. Uh, would be kind of difficult to find in the US but you could find around Asia and if you want to order something like this I guess you could order it uh, through uh, Japanese sellers or whatnot it's just that it's kind of long so it's very difficult to import I guess in the US but if you're new to this channel this channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing we cover everything from big game ultralight everything in the middle including fly fishing and today I'm gonna show you my one of my <laughs> one of my shore fishing setups specifically for tossing out jigs small jigs and plugs of up to about 45 40 grams i would say 40 gram swimming plugs like the soran heavy minnow uh I, ima uh, sasuke uh what else even the rapala uh cast and and uh, magnum cast and magnum prey lures uh when i actually field tested those because I was part of the development team for those. In fact, the the lipless one is actually uh, one of my ideas. So uh, it was tested on this. All right. So this is the uh, Yamaga Blanks Ballistic 93M Nano. Okay, and this is paired with an Abu Garcia Inshore, and this is the uh, Inshore Three. Okay, and this combo is very, very light, very, very sensitive, and very easy to cast. And this is 9 foot 3. Okay, so one of the longest bait casters made available today. And it's still in production, um, although it's in, in the, a bit more, it's, it's actually kind of pricey. But if, you, uh, if you're looking for something that could do a little bit of everything, this combo is really really good especially if you're an over uh, a big casting guy and you want something that you could you know something long that you could work lures with rod has a lot of power it's very very light and uh very very sensitive what i don't do with this which i should be doing is actually uh fishing with uh soft plastics and I guess this summer, that's something that I'm going to be putting to the test. And uh, I'm going to be using using this for a little bit of that. But one thing I haven't done with this was actually fish soft plastics extensively. And I'm pretty sure that uh, it'll, it'll work really well in that kind of role. But uh, as far as casting distance with this is concerned, hands down, literally especially for the weight range it carries and mind you uh, this can cast lures from 8 to 42 grams that's the uh, the range now with Yamaga blanks I'm actually very comfortable to use exactly what's put on the blank so if it says uh, 42 I'd be comfortable to use this rod for up to 45 grams of weight I know someone his name is Kelvin I <laughs> Kelvin pretty much puts heavier uh, 
lures and jigs on his Yamaga and really puts them to the test. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not as brave. But I know for a fact that if it says 42, I could put 45 grams and cast it and then there would be no issues. But uh, I've used lures of up to 40 grams like the Soran Heavy Minnow, the bigger size, and really whacked it. And uh, works really well. Alrighty, so again, for this combo, I use it for um, exploring really one of the one of the, the good things about this is that it's very light so even if it's long you know I just take this one rod and reel and then I walk the beach and again this is one of my favorite combos it's just that a lot of people um, can't relate to big casters here so most of the content that I, I do I'm using spinning uh, or at least that's what you see me use but whenever I'm not filming I'm actually using this and it's it's uh or one of the combos that i use is this and it, it's really super fun to to uh, use this or, and work with it now what i really like about this is the fact that you don't have to power your cast to get really far now this is true for bait casters and long rods because you just need the momentum and the reel and the rod just does everything itself and uh, I'll discuss this in a future video, but I mean, even offshore, they've noticed that when I'm casting with an overhead, there's really no effort involved and it goes farther than, than um, the casts that I do with uh, spinning. Or maybe I'm not doing it right. <laughs> but uh, very little effort. And this is one of the reasons why I really like the overheads. If you have everything tuned, correctly there's very little effort to go a really good distance okay and and that's probably for me one of the most or the biggest uh advantages of using an uh, an overhead system already uh but for for this particular rod uh the only disadvantage that i uh actually felt when i was using this for the first time and i'm, I'm just saying this because i have I, I wasn't used to it yet at this point when I bought this rod, Yamaga, this is Yamaga's first foray into um, bait casting or overhead overhead rods. And when I used this the first time, I felt as if it it felt like a spinning rod that was upside down, you know. Uh, but later on, I got to, it, it's also the first time I casted a bait caster this long, okay. Like a pure bait caster, a surf rod I've casted, okay. But a, a bait casting rod, it was the first time I've casted it. And it felt as if it was like a spinning rod. But, you know, you kind of get used to it. Or no, you don't kind of get used to it. You get used to it. And then later on, you actually appreciate how it was designed. And then the feel and all that. Um, so, yeah. I All in all, I said it's a very well-built rod. Of course, it's Yamaga. And uh, it is literally one of my favorites. I, I don't really get to use this a lot in... On, on video but that's gonna change pretty soon because I'm you know I'm, I'm, I'm tired of using spinning rods all the time so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to this and actually you know enjoy it again but that's it yeah if you have questions specifically for combos like this I mean I'm not telling you to go out and buy stuff like this it's just that you know uh, all I'm saying is that a nine foot big casting rod okay fast action big casting rod in this application okay so again i'm going to tell you the specs it is uh pe one to two for this and then the lure weight recommended is eight to 42 grams it's nine foot three in length two piece very light combo paired with this low profile inshore uh abu garcia inshore three and i spool this with pe uh two this reel particular reel i spooled it with pe2 i have another one that i spooled with pe1 that i also use with this so it depends on uh the mood okay i could go lighter and and hunt for uh for uh fish a smaller fish let's say on smaller jigs and stuff and i put the lightweight reel here actually i have three reels to use on this Okay, I also use a uh, 
uh, round, what's this? Uh, I use a uh, Calcutta on this, a Calcutta Conquest on this. And uh, what's the other one? Uh, Oshia Calcutta as well, you know, which I could use on this. Uh, the uh, Conquest is actually uh, a very good fit for this also, although if I put it here, it becomes kind of heavy because of the construction. So I prefer to keep this combo light with the uh, low profile reels. And uh, that's that. Alrighty, so overall, uh, again, kind of just to show and tell, I'm not saying that, go ahead and buy this, but uh, this particular combo is actually very, very well suited to the task that I uh, bought it for, okay? Which is casting plugs and occasionally those small <coughs> jigs, all right? Uh, this is practically, no, this is practically one of two that I use for light shore jigging. And this is the lighter of the two. And this is also the shorter of the two. So, um, especially for flounder, I prefer this when I don't need to cast really far. Okay, so, but for covering more water, I use the other one. Uh, but yeah, these, these two most likely will make an appearance in uh, future videos. So, I want to get this out there so that if people are actually asking about this combo, you know, I have a, vi a video to refer them to. But that's it. Now, as far as leader is concerned, I put 15 pound test leader on this, maximum 20. Alrighty. But I could drop down to 10, which is something that happens from time to time. Alright, so 10, 15, and 20 pound test leader, depending on what I'm doing. Um, if I'm casting plugs, it would be 20 pound test leader and it would be fluorocarbon, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Now, if you have questions, drop them in the comment section, and I will get back to you. Once again, this is the Yamaga Ballistic 93M paired with Abu Garcia Inshore 3, okay? They're newer versions, and there are better reels that you could pair with this, but this is what I have, and I'm pairing with. I have two of these. One's pulled with PE1. One here is pulled with PE2. Obviously, you could do something different, uh, but having a long rod like this to do the job of casting lures from shore and jigs is uh, one way of actually getting the distance that you need. And uh, yeah, I mean, especially for shore fishing where you need uh, a longer cast. And I have to say, rods like these are actually not easy to find, okay? So a fast action rod at this length for this particular weight and line, not easy to find. Okay, so hopefully something that you learned from, alrighty? So if you learned from this video, by the way, give it a thumbs up, alrighty? If you want your friends to learn with you, share the video, share the channel. And if you haven't yet and you want to learn more, click on that subscribe button button alrighty so this is it for this combo guide i'll see you in the next one class dismissed